Welcome to OneFly JC. In this video, I will attempt to show that this Air 2S is capable of much more than DJI recommend. Full disclaimer, I am not suggesting that you try this with your drone. Before you go out there and fly in cold weather, make sure that your battery at, are at a good operating temperature. And once you launch the drone, let it hover for a few minutes before flying off. It has been snowing since yesterday. Wind is 29 miles per hour and gusting at 44. I'm going to put this Air 2S up there and see if it can handle. This test is being done under extremely cold temperatures. I hope my bird wouldn't have any problem up there. All right, so here we go. Folks, I'm going to fly from my car. I have clear view of the area I'm gonna fly in. It's a big wide open field. Arcadia is in the, way back there in the background. I'm gonna fly in that direction. The home point, the home has, point been has been updated. updated. Please check, Please it, on check it on the map. There's a lot of snow blowing uh, along the ground and I don't want that going in my bird. So get it up a little higher. Take off. Take off. The home, the home point, has, point been has been updated. Please check Please it, on, check the it on the map. Take it up a little higher. Yeah, the, the wind is kicking it around a little bit, but she's holding her own. Now, I always faced the drone into the wind. It wasn't quite into the wind this time because the wind looked like it's blowing more from the, uh, what's, what would that be? That would be the northeast. Yeah, northeast. But it's varying because now I'm blowing from the northwest, so it's, it's variable winds. All right, so she's in the air. I don't usually get this, but I guess maybe all this shaking, this movement here, usually that gimbal will damp out stuff like that, but it is 45 miles an hour. And uh, open my sunroof so I can see when she goes up. So, all right, let's take her up. And I'm at 9.9 uh, .9 meters, so. Let's shoot her up. We're gonna take her straight up first. We're gonna take her straight up to where it's supposed to be 44 miles an hour. Keep my eye on her. She's going straight up. Ascending at uh, 6.2, 6.3. Two meters per second. Let's drop down a little bit. So let's go up to She's holding her own still, going up steadily. Going up steadily, this is a very shaky video. I don't remember having this with the other drone. Very shaky. Very shaky, let me check here and see yeah, the wind is kicking kicking her around a little bit. We had 100 meters. 115 coming up. It was stop, usually stop before 115. Maximum yeah. flight altitude reached. reached. Stopped at 114. And there she is, she is holding her own. See her right up there, and I mean go to my map. And see, she's roughly right above where she took off from. So she is handling that wind up there. So let me go back over here and check the attitude of it and see. Okay, the wind, you can tell by those, the little line which represent the wings, the arms, that the wind is really kicking up. Yeah, it's gusting up there, maximum. Yeah, I got a warning, wind warning. So it's coming, yes. Holding steady. Holding steady, she's still up there. Why is the gimbal motor overloaded? Remember earlier I said that uh, some snow was blowing along the ground and I had to get the bird up in the air. Apparently some of the snow crystal got up in the gimbal motor and I'm sure some got in the drone itself because when I brought it down, put it in the car, on my dashboard near the heat, a couple of drops of water ran down the rear leg. Now my solution for that was to keep it on the dashboard near the heat for about 10 or 15 minutes 
Then I took it and sat it in the case where along with, I uh, have about six or seven silica gel packs in there. Let it sit there for a little while before I fired it up again. Then took it back out, put the bird in the air, and ran some more tests by flying it into the wind to see what my top speed will be. And then I flew it back with the wind to get the top speed. All in all, this drone was very stable up in the air. So I'm up there, I'm gonna take it up a little bit more, and then I'll do a speed test to see how fast I can go. Take it up a little bit more where we at, at 30 meters, take it to 40 meters. Okay, sport mode and get out of there. All this time I was in normal mode. All right, let's go. Here we go. Look like she's going kind of slow. Okay. Not very fast. Top speed. All right. Let's turn it around, come back, and see, see how fast I can get her going. Make sure I'm lined up here. Come straight back on this. All right, let's go. Okay. I wasn't looking at it, so I can't tell how fast it was going. I'm freezing out here. My fingers are like they're on fire. So we will t see on the screen recording how fast she went. Okay, folks, here are some figures from DJI. The Air 2S is rated to handle wind of 20. To 23 miles per hour and temperature as low as 10 degrees centigrade which is equivalent to 14 degrees Fahrenheit. The top speed of this drone is rated to be 42.5 miles an hour. However, this test shows that this drone is capable of much more. It was able to withstand a temperature of minus 16 degrees Celsius and uh, also it was able to withstand a 44 mile per hour wind. But please understand that this test is not scientific. The wind might have been different than forecasted. So folks, thanks for watching.